Here we go. Hey everyone, this is episode one of The Daily Muse. And I'm not gonna mew. Well, maybe. Mew. Okay, <laughs> just once. I know. All right, so I'm hoping that maybe this can be a daily thing, but I might not have time, so in every day, so bear with me, I'm gonna do my best, but regardless, today's episode one. So what the Daily Muse is going to be is just some short educational videos with little awesome tidbits of information and knowledge and nutrition advice and anything cats, anything hairless cats, anything cats, so it's gonna be awesome. So today is all about heat lamps part two. Last week or a couple weeks ago, I did all about heat lamps part one and I explained the benefits of a heat lamp for your cat or your hairless pet, if you have a hairless dog too, this could be very important, and why they're better for your cat than a heating pad. So if you missed that one, you can just go check out my website to see the first part. So second part today, I'm just gonna show you a couple different setups for a heat lamp that last time I didn't have to show you guys. So setup number one is something like this. This is a cat house. We bought this on Wayfair.com. Um, you can just go on Wayfair and Google cat house and they have several different, several different models, but this is the one we got. It does come with a front closing door. We just took the door off because Stubbin didn't really want to be shut in behind glass. He liked it more open. We liked it more open so we can come over and just, you know, everybody, everybody. So it comes with a solid top, but what we did was just drill a hole and put some wire mesh to safely secure the heat lamp on the top. So this setup would be my, my ultimate number one best setup for a cat heat lamp because it's going to keep your pet completely safe. They can't hurt themselves, burn themselves on the heat lamp with the wire mesh under there. It's also so safe as far as a fire hazard. There's really no way that this could start a fire. I don't see how, unless somehow the whole thing got toppled down, which, you know, it can't. It's a secure wood hutch. So this would be my number one recommendation, but not everybody has space for a setup like this or could afford the cat house thing. So we're gonna come over here and I'll show you setup number two. And don't show my messy dining room table. Stay over here. <laughs> so setup number two, because we have, wow, I'm getting blinded because we have his hutch right now. We don't have a second one set up on his heat, on his cat climber here, but this is his new cat climber. And a lot of people that have cats have cat climbers, so this is good. Um, so this is the heat lamp, so you can see it in entirety. You just wanna get yourself one of these. And there's no such thing as a cat heat lamp. So if you go to the pet store, you just ask for a reptile heat lamp if you're gonna ask somebody or just go in the reptile section and you know they may and if you say it's for a cat they may kind of give you you know a quizzical look but just you know don't worry about them they don't know what they're talking about when it comes to heat lamps for cats because you know they don't know that hero's cats need them so this is what you're gonna get and they come with a clasp secure end so what's great is most Cat climbers are gonna have some type of ledge like this where you can easily clamp the heat lamp on there and that's where it's gonna be secure. You wanna make sure you put it at a level that's not real close to where you're gonna have your cat's bed. So in this setup, this would be how I would do this if I were to have a heat lamp here and have the bed here. So you've got a good distance of a couple feet. You don't want it any lower than that because it's gonna to be too hot or the cat could accidentally burn themselves on the lamp. And here I say cat, but yes, my dog. You know, if you have a small breed dog or a hairless dog, they love the heat lamps. They're always gonna be under it too. So then to make sure that this is really safe, what we've always done in the past is just take some of these industrial strength heavy duty zip ties and you would just fashion them together. Not sure how these guys work. 
And you just do something like this and wrap it around the whole shelf through this clamp so that you make sure the heat lamp is really secure then. And that way, you know, it's safe and it's not as, you know, as dangerous as a fire hazard. Still not as safe as option number one. But again, the only way that's gonna come off, these things don't come off, as we all know, you gotta cut them. <laughs> um, the only way we come off is if somehow the whole climber were to fall over. Then the last thing I want to note for you is the type of bulbs. Again, you can also find these at the pet store or order on lawn online. This is a ceramic bulb, it's called. And this one, puts off no light, so uh, this might be best if you're going to have your cat's heat lamp set up in an area where it's near your bedroom or somewhere where you just don't want light. And also, I prefer the ceramic bulbs because in my experience, these are lasting about easily five times as long as, get out of the sunlight there, um, as long as the regular light bulbs I'm not really sure why, that's not my expertise, is light bulbs and wattage and voltage and blah, blah, blah. But they last longer, they're a little more expensive, but they're lasting so much longer. The regular heat lamp bulbs, I've always found in the past, after a few months, especially if you turn your heat lamp on and off a lot, they just burn out. But you do have the option of a regular light emitting heat light, you have a red light emitting heat lamp, you also have a black light emitting heat lamp, and then you have the ceramic bulbs. And then there's options of strength, you have 100 watts, 75 watts, actually I think it goes up to 150 watts, 150, 100, 75, and 50. And for most situations I would recommend about the 100 watts, and again, they seem to last longer, for some reason the higher wattage seems to burn out or go out more quickly. So you have a few options and things to think about as far as your light, but that's it. That's, that's how you safely set up a heat lamp for your cat and everything you need to know as far as I, as far as I know. So if you have any more questions, just post below. Thanks guys.